Aren't you tired of boring, soulless furniture from IKEA filling your home? Throw out the window that generic lag table that is sitting in your room and discover the magic of woodworking. Join me in this video as I build the most luxurious shoe rag you've ever seen and teach you how to do it yourself. Oh, yeah. First, I need a dream team because I've never done this before, so I really don't know what I'm doing. So let's check it out. Oh, come on, <laughs> <laughs> who are you? I'm Jonas, I'm the guy behind JL Studio. It's my side hustle where I try to make cool projects with reclaimed wood for myself, friends, family, people like Felix, or whoever. Jonas was kind enough to accept this collaboration and teach us everything there is to know about woodworking. There's no way I could have done this video without him, so thank you, Jonas. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! Like any project, it starts with an idea. What I, what I focus on is really trying to create something unique. Um, put some sort of bonsai or combine it with some green trees so it could kind of have some life to on it. Yeah. Add it, yeah, go crazy, do your thing. What do you need? Because if we're building something anyway, we might as well something you, you can use. For quite some time I've been thinking that shoes in the entrance that are poorly organized are just unbearable to me. So a shoe rack could solve that problem. And then he said, oh, I would like a shoe rack. And I was like, okay, let's try to make a really cool shoe rack. So I drew one or two designs, send them to you. He said, oh, I like it. And I said, yeah, okay. Oh no, you even told me, can we do, the, can we do it symmetrical, the shelves, instead of in one layer? I'm like, okay, yeah, good idea. idea. Let's do that. Step two is to draw your idea, ideally in a 3D program. Well, from the drawing, you can extract a big rough idea of how much wood do I need for this, the thickness, etc, etc. It's gonna be the, our base, so the foot stands. Here everything is gonna rest on this, and then we have our spine. I mean, I call it the spine, that's gonna be the vertical element. How long did it took you to learn this uh, 3D uh, software? I think like one day and a half yeah. got me the basics. But to get the basics, it's not super complicated, no. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna, in the spine, cut these uh, grooves where then the planks that are gonna hold your shoes are gonna slide into and be glued into. Why would I get into this? Like, what's, what's so appealing about working on wood? Well, that's very personal. Why would you get into it? It has to be because you kind of like how wood looks, feels, smells, and you like creating an idea, bringing it to life, because that's what you do. You start with an idea, you think about the practical sides, how am I gonna actually bring this to life, then you do it, and then you can look at it and be happy. Is it how it was in your head? Yeah, better. It's better, no? That's the cool part. And get paid. You get paid, yeah, <laughs> make some money. <laughs> We've got to have money. Step three is to get the wood that you will use and assemble it. And if you need certain widths or, yeah, mostly width or thickness, you need sometimes to glue wood together, which is what I already did before you started because it's not so interesting to film. This is gonna be your foot stand. So how many woods is that stick together? It's three pieces. You can see it here. These are glued together. Ah. So what I heard is that if it's glued correctly, that if you were to put pressure, let's say here and here, that rather the wood would snap here, 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 and not here. That this is supposed to be slightly stronger than the actual wood itself. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. <laughs> Next step is uh, starting the manipulations, like start shaping the wood to its right proportion, taking out pieces where you're gonna put connections, drilling holes, etc. That's like the biggest part, it's all the manipulation. Oh, you can't hear anything, <laughs> it's so cool. The first step was to start with the CNC machine. This robot allows you to cut the wood in any shape you want but it takes many hours that you can utilize to do other things in the meantime. I think we checked everything. I think, think we're ready? So. I think so. <laughs> Let's hope it works. 
Are you nervous? Yes, I am. <laughs> what is it? Worst the, case the, scenario. The worst thing, case scenario, yeah. Bumps into it too fast, too aggressive, and it kills the knife, and the knife explodes, and the machine gets damaged. That's the worst case scenario. But that's also not very likely to happen. Oh, oh, okay, I thought the worst case scenario was like to have a little bump or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Bob the Builder. <laughs> Have you seen um, Felix Repairs? Felix Repairs? Yeah, Felix Repairs. It's a dude that has a hammer and like from a video game, apparently, and he can repair stuff. <laughs> and his name is Felix. So, oh. <laughs> while the machine was doing its job, we decided to tackle the spine of the shoe rack. We used this weird machine to make the edges round. After that, with a pencil, we mark where we had to do the holes. And with this piece, we could make a hole that fitted exactly the logo. Now it was time to cut the holes where the joints would go, with this badass spinning saw. The only thing that really matters here is that this gap is exactly 18, that it's not uh, loose. Mobile, yeah. yeah. It's better if it's a bit smaller and we can scratch it than to yeah. have it too big, no? Yeah. Next, with some simple glue and a bit of pressure, we put the logo inside. But only an alpha knows how to drive a nail with a single hit. Just like that, we have our spine ready for assembly. It's big, huh? Yeah. But it's and then big. one, this shape, till here, and then here, same till there. Yeah. That was today it for today. today. <laughs> the next day. Good morning. Today is day two of this adventure. We're gonna build the the steps of the shoe rack, so I can put the the, the shoes there. <laughs> And then we're gonna start cutting down the foot. So a lot of big pieces coming out today. So very exciting. I really like this. I'm rested well, so I feel I feel very energized. Very fun. I don't know. I'm excited. Yee, how are you feeling? I feel ready. Yay. Today is a day full of success. Full of success. Only success, guys. Only success here. Now we're gonna make a nice soft corner. Where that machine. Round no? over with the router. Okay. That's it. That's not good, is it? It doesn't look stable. Everybody stay calm! Everybody stay calm! Sorry to smoke? Ah, because you're pushing too much. Okay. okay. Yes. That looks really good. What do you think so far? It's so cool, dude. It's like <laughs> from the from the 80s, 90s, but the rich people, you know, the ones that had a living room that was underneath? That's how cool it looks. Yeah. With this black tube, we cover the imperfections of the wood and scratch it off the excess. Then with this saw machine, we cut the excess of the wood and finally sanded the edges to make them saw. To you? To you, yeah, why not? Imagine I want to start my new career as a woodworker. What, what's the advice that you would give me? But just start, I mean, just start. Very simple, if you like this, just start and find a place like Tournevi, we have in Brussels. There's places like this everywhere. There's courses to follow. There's so much to find on YouTube. Just start and take a good look at uh, all the safety instructions because yeah, it's also notorious woodworking for taking fingers away. <laughs> hey, you have your, your whole fingers, though. No? I still hey, have Hey, look at that. You nearly lost one, no? Yes. <laughs> Then the next step is sanding. Why, why do we sand it? Because you want it to be smooth. You want it to be soft for the touch. You don't want any scratches. You want it to look good. Fit the holes. 
Bam. This is a new feeling that I used to have that I never had before. But soft wood after sanding it, it's so it's so nice. It's so soft. You appreciate the softness of soft wood. It's so good. Now we finally got to the step of assembling. First we drill some holes in the back of the spine. We made sure the spaces for the joints were nice and tight. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> that's the good stuff. Made even more holes with all the machines to attach the spine to the base. There's a machine for everything. It's a very expensive machine. To make holes, I guess? Or to make what? To make special holes. Really tight holes. Very tight <laughs> holes. <laughs> and finally assembled everything together with screws. It looks so cool. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it looks so cool. Oh, well, Oof. and I'm running out of battery, so... Perfect. We're gonna leave it here for today and yeah. we're gonna finish in the third day. But this is good progress. We're gonna, we're gonna finish soon. Yeah, this is cool. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, yeah. Really Very love nice. it. I think one of the coolest things I made. Yeah. The yes. design, the shape, yeah, the with foot. But even this is gonna look nicer when yeah, it's when more. We just need to sand it, change the color, make it oily and whatever. <laughs> the next day. All right, what's up, guys? We're in day number three. Last one, normally for of work. And Jonas was working a bit yesterday and. I glued this together. Just have to clean this up. You also put this uh, for the top part. Ooh, it goes smooth and nice. But first, we clean this up. It's quite, it's quite sanded already. Over. Yeah, it's soft Just and this. nice. Ooh la la. Just... And then uh, the final step is to put oil and enjoy. The idea is to give this part this color yes and leave these natural yeah so we have a bit of contrast now so it's exactly. not just one dimensional exactly black and white black and white black together and white. i feel like a doctor mm -hmm. i feel like like i actually know what i'm doing so. with some paper towels we clean the wood every youtuber uses this yeah yeah an a and a b component and you want to use three parts of the A, one part of the B, and the B is just a hardener that's gonna make it cure uh, faster. Injecting some beauty. Injecting some beauty. Is, is this Botox? <laughs> is it expensive? Yes. This is 55 euros. 55 euros. This also protects the wood, no? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the product says it creates a chemical reaction with the wood that uh, closes the pores for stains of water, etc. So now we're gonna put it all over it and then leave it for then a few minutes. Uh -huh. It's like feeling alive in some ways. Like how how yeah. how do I know that I exist in this world? Yeah. Well the fact that I create something is a good start of it because moving pieces and creating something that didn't exist before, I, unless I existed. Now we're gonna rub off all the excess and we have a finished product. Nice. So shiny, I love it. Time to paint. Uh, welcome to Art Attack. So now we're gonna use our ebonizing fluid that we made, which is vinegar plus steel wool. And we're gonna brush it on the wood to get to the final result, looking similar to this. Yes, because black oh. is, is the new orange. Yes. <laughs> orange is the new black. Orange is the new black, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be black. You nasty boy, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. So greedy. <laughs> but <laughs> so much. You forgot the sides, huh? I didn't forget the sides, I just didn't do it. <laughs> sure. Don't like to make sun. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Doc, Doc, how much? 30. I'm gonna be your nurse now. I need 30. 
e get there yeah, like the you, you spend so so much time building these things and then you have to give it up to your client how does that like feel like a little baby baby bird will let it fly away oh. it's all alive <laughs> no yeah it's nice also to think about how it's going to be part of your life and how many people are going to see this and walk past it and it'll be different than the rest because we did just one coat here but see no even one coat is Perfect, it's so black. And now we can assemble the final product. Yeah. Wait. I just want to make sure it's there. We go. Clean lines. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Good? Yeah. So cool, it's going to look so two. nice. Doing great, man. Such a good assistant. Thank you. Oof. Nice and tight, huh? Oof. The colors look so good. It's good. Perfect. I look so uh, good. Yay. Almost there. <laughs> Shall we do the honors? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nice, it fits perfectly. It is so dope. It's like a Chinese bonsai or whatever. Woo. Yeah, high five, buddy. You win. Done. We're done. done. We did it. We did it. We did it really well. Very cool. Very cool. All right. We'll see you tomorrow when we come and catch it up and put it in the house. Woo. Jonas is here. Hey, Mr. Jonas, the legend is here. Hello. Are you ready, buddy? Oh, there's the baby. Three months of hard work led to this moment. <laughs> Epic music cue. Dun 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 dun. dun. on that because uh, we worked very hard, didn't we, Jonas? We did. We did it, did. So at least a little bit of, of cleanliness wouldn't kill anyone. Hey, look at that. A round of applause for Jonas. And Felix. Yes, woo! Okay. Let's Another clap one. it up, clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> High five yeah. for 12. Yeah. <laughs> I approve, I approve, definitely. I'm happy he approves. Yeah. <laughs> I was a bit worried that first. So you enter the house, and there it is. Hello, and I can put my keys and my shoes and my stuff, and you can even charge my phone because there's a plug there. So good, we're professional. Yeah. With a fucking good job, yes. So what's the verdict? How much would this cost <laughs> if we had uh, done it for a client? I would have to calculate on 30 per hour. Yeah, 30, 30 is 900 plus. Uh, 200 for the material would be 1100. 1100 for a shoe rack. Lovely, but the best shoe rack we have ever seen. Yes! All right, guys, we finished the project. It works perfectly. It's amazing. I'm very happy. Le big thanks to Jonas and his amazing company. Fantastic. In the description. The link. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, you're a YouTuber now. <laughs> Woo!